Uh, hello everybody. I'm making another tutorial showing you how to use uh, WPLIT plus X. Uh, so this video is quite short, around three to five minutes, but it uh, it shows you how to use the plugin to quickly get start with the the plugin. So here I'm in my WordPress dashboard. I'm running a WordPress uh, 4.8 at this moment. And uh, in the future, you may have different version. So, um, but it doesn't matter. So here we can see uh, WP Plus X here. So make sure if you are using the Pro version, you activated the plugin before using it. This uh, video, I'm using the Pro version, but uh, the free user uh, the users of free version can uh, benefit alike. So uh, let's go to WP, uh, WP plus X and go to make pages. And uh, here is the interface uh, of the plugin. So uh, today we are going we are going to cover these topics. So uh, first one, a part of the plugin, uh, view a page, edit an element, and publish the, the page. Finally, view the page you created. So uh, the first, the first thing, the parts of the plugin. On the left, you can see that we have the list of elements here. You can use it to drag into the page. And uh, there are colors. Uh, there are elements with uh, uh, white and uh, blue icon, or which are the regular elements and these things the the orange color are the premium elements which only which are only available in the the pro version so you need to upgrade to use these elements so that is um, so here is the top bar and this is where you you save the page you edit the pages you created Click on edit, you will see the list of the pages you created here. Click on this pencil icon to edit and the extra. You can go to dashboard, get the list of templates. Go to the place you can work in you can create pop-ups or widget. Uh, that's it for the top bar page settings. You can access this panel later. So, uh, and the final part of the plugin is this one. Uh, this is where you build your actual page. So, that is the first part of the video. And we're going to learn how to build a page. So, building a page is very easy. So, this is the box where you can build your page. So the first thing you need to do before you view any page is to set the width of the page. So you click on page settings and uh, by default the width of the page is 500 pixel and you can increase or decrease this number. So I uh, make it 700 pixel. You can see the box, the green box here uh, was widened. So let's start uh, by let's get started by dragging elements into the page so you can add elements into the page by clicking on it and drag into the green box and release it like that as you can see I have just dragged a paragraph element into the page the paragraph element is the one you you need when you want to input text into that and uh, you may want to input to drag a YouTube video in here if you are using the pro version you can use the hosted video here and um, for example I want to drag an image here you can drag unlimited number of elements into the page a button maybe Okay, so you have dragged a few elements into the page. Uh, what's next? 
so you can see that we need to edit those elements because maybe you don't want to use this text so in order to edit any element you just move the cursor over that element and you will see a context menu appears at the top right of the element and there are a few controls here this one is for moving the elements up and down like that this one is for editing the element which uh, I'm going to cover it now and this one to clone the element you can see I click on that now I have two text element and this one for deleting the element I click on that confirm and I deleted it now we edit this element click on that icon pencil icon you can drag you will see the editor appears here and you can see this is a text editor now we can freely edit the text here so uh, I can uh, change this one this is a landing page something like that and edit the text just like in any uh, standard editor increase the size of the text change the color maybe and you can also uh, browse the list of, of fonts we have Google web fonts here so you can uh, choose a lot of fonts for example I I type a letter and you you see the suggestions this one looks nice and you click on OK and this is the the, the new font but you see it is not it isn't applied to the to the landing page so just add a space and now you have it here again you can edit the space to remove it so that is uh, how to edit the elements I'm going to cover how to edit each element in a different video so uh, this video we're going to do a very quick overview of the elements so likewise you can edit the image here click on the pencil icon icon sorry and uh, as of image uh, there are a few options you can change the image so we will lead to you will be led to this this page the image picker if you are using WordPress for a while you see this very familiar select this one for example and now we have a very very nice motorcycle so um, okay so that is uh, that is how you edit the element you drag you edit the element that is the basic of how to build a page now we move to the, to the next uh, okay edit an element oh I I already covered that now we go to publish the page and view the page to end this video so how to publish your page before publish before publishing your page you need to give it a name so go to page settings here and give a page title here this is this will be the URL of your your page depends on your permanent settings so for example I, uh, I type in a uh, great landing page so you, your URL will be something like great dash landing dash page something like that so uh, okay I keep it great landing page but you should uh, write it in a more attractive style like this uppercase for the the first letter of the words so uh, you have set the title now you can go to click on save as here and there are a few options here you can save it as a, as a page or a custom post if you're going to build a landing page you will want to save it as a page and if you want to use uh, this one for as a pop-up or a splash page you may want to save it as a custom post so what is what's the difference 
as a custom post, uh, the page will not be indexed by the search engines. So if you don't want to, you know, really we don't want to use pop-up. We don't want pop-ups or widgets to be indexed by search engines. So uh, the, the difference is very, very little. It is your choice. But if you want to build a page, a landing page, for example, so you save it as a page. Otherwise, save it as a custom post. And um, there are two other options, which is save as new page or new custom post. These options are used when you edit uh, a page and you want to create a clone of the current page. So now I select. Uh, this option, the first option, to save as a page. And now you see the not notification here, page saved. And there's a new button here to view the page. So I click on that. And this is our page. So that is a very quick introduction to WP Plus X plugin. I'm going to make more videos to help you get the most out of this plugin. And if you have any question, uh, please don't hesitate to send me an email or leave a comment below. Thank you very much.